Hey everyone, Brian Beeler coming to you from Storage Review and today we're taking a look at uh, these hard drives. Now what's so special about these hard drives? They're big, not in actual physical capacity, but it's the bits inside that matter. We're talking about 20 terabytes in a single three and a half inch hard drive, which is the new high watermark for commercially available drives. These are the Seagate Ironwolf Pro NAS hard drives and with 20 terabytes a pop, they're gonna provide quite a bit of storage for whatever it is you have. If it's NVR data, if it's unstructured file shares in an organization, if it's just part of your big data lake as, uh, as your data pile expands and you want to have it available for your AI and ML folks to be able to use against uh, large data sets, whatever the use case is, these drives are really coming on strong because of the massive capacity. Now the Iron Wolf NAS drives and the Iron Wolf Pro as in the case here, are tuned for NAS workloads. The pros are really designed for larger NAS uh, infrastructures. Seagate targets up to about 24 bays for these drives. They obviously work in a smaller NAS like this QNAP that's sitting next to me. And in fact, in our review, we tested a batch of eight of them in a QNAS with twin 10 gig ports on the back end, just to see what we could get from a uh, performance profile. That said, this model, the Pro, has a 7200 RPM spindle inside, cranking through up to 285 megabytes a second at the outer edge. Now, you won't necessarily get that in production, and especially once you put a bunch of these into a NAS or, or other system, but from a performance profile, they are pretty quick, and they're even a little bit better than the 16 terabyte and 18 terabyte offerings that Seagate has offered before in the Iron Wolf Pro line. Now, in 4K, when we look at these drives versus the 18 terabyte part from Seagate, the performance is about the same. Actually, it's kind of identical when you look at Seagate's numbers. But Seagate sees some differentiation at the large block uh, workloads, 128K, for instance, which we'll take a look at in our numbers. Now, one thing to consider is that we're testing eight of these again in a NAS with two 10 gig ports. And with large block uh, read workloads specifically, you will saturate the ports. So we'll dive into all of that. Uh, one last thing to note about the drives themselves is that they come with a five year warranty. And Seagate also has a three year data recovery uh, service that goes with these as well, which they came, claim to be 95 percent effective. So if you ever get into the, the world of pain where uh, you have a failure or have some damage to the drive for whatever reason, Seagate's there to help back you up. All right, so let's take a quick look at our numbers. And of course, this is just the highlights. If you want the full suite of test results, you can check out the website. There's a link in the, uh, in the description. Uh, but like we see looking at the 4K, 100% random uh, read and write. Again, we're running uh, SMB and iSCSI against the 18 and 20 terabyte part. And across the line, we're kind of within the, the realm of, uh, of error here. And that's about what we would expect and is consistent with Seagate's guidance on performance. Now, if we drop down to, let's say 80K 7030, we can start to see a little bit of separation uh, for SMB in favor of the, the 20 terabyte drive. And just a teeny bit of separation, far too close to notice uh, when we're looking at iSCSI between the two parts. But now when we go all the way down to our large block 100% uh, read and write, this is where we start to see some separation. Now on the 20 and 18 terabyte drives for SMB, we're seeing the uh, 2.3 gigabytes a second read number. Now that's what we're looking at for port saturation here. Uh, but really where they start to differentiate is on the right side, we can notice really nice big gains both on iSCSI and SMB. And again, that's going to come down to in large part the aerial density that's driving the uh, ability for these, these drives to hit faster performance at the outer edge. And then even in a group in an ass, it still comes through in, uh, in really great performance numbers. So for all those use cases, that we were talking about before, large block sequential writes like NVR security systems, uh, uh, inbound data flows from media and entertainment use cases, copying large files over from digital cameras, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll see really nice write performance gains. 
So overall, the performance profile on these Iron Wolf Pro drives is really great. Plus, we're at a capacity point with 20 terabytes where the density is simply amazing. Even in our little 8 bay, that's 160 terabytes raw. That's pretty sick. And in fact, when we look at the feedback we got on our social media when we showed a little video of these going into the QNAP NAS, half the questions were, what are you going to do with all that capacity anyway? And I guess if you're asking the question, then maybe this isn't the right part for you. But for all those people in, in media and entertainment, in businesses that are doing surveillance uh, video, accumulating all those files, and maybe even running analytics against them, uh, for orgs that are building these big data lakes, this kind of drive is really what's going to, to enable next-gen workloads and in the very minor uh, micro scale of a small M&E professional, this is fundamental to keeping you online with as little equipment as possible. Now, if you get into a bigger data lake scenario, there's an Exos part. We're actually taking a look at those right now. Those come in SATA and SAS variations. Also, the X20, a 20 terabyte class drive, will be there for more of those enterprise use cases. But for everything else, the Iron Wolf Pro is a really good fit, great performance profile, and really pretty good value at the uh, announced street pricing. So we look forward to putting these drives through additional testing and use cases here in the Storage View Lab. And we think if you need the storage, that there are going to be a lot of happy customers with this particular unit. Thanks for tuning in.